We just read about the royal sponsorship and you watched the brain pop about main idea. So we are ready to practice doing this and find some main ideas in the paragraphs that we just read. So uh, you should have your reading pulled up and then you should also have your um, finding the main idea page. So if you notice, I just kind of um, was picking and choosing which paragraphs I actually want you to find. So it starts with paragraph two and then paragraph four and paragraph six. Um, but I'm going to give you an example of how we would find that using a different paragraph. So I'm going to look back at paragraph one using the techniques that they talked about in the brain pop that we've talked about in class for main idea. So first off, I'm going to kind of skim and scan a little bit and reread parts of this paragraph to kind of remind myself because the first question you're going to answer for each of these paragraphs is what's the main idea? What's the point? What's the author trying to get us to understand from that paragraph. So it says exploring was expensive. Ships, crews, and supplies were not cheap. Explorers could not pay for their own trips. They needed royal families to sponsor them. Uh, it then explains uh, sponsor. If the king and queen sponsored an explorer, the explorer became an ambassador. It tells us what ambassador means. Sponsors also wanted other things from explorers. They wanted explorers to bring back goods to trade, and they also wanted explorers to claim land for their country. So I definitely think it has to do with the fact that exploring was expensive. But that's not the only thing covered in this paragraph. It also kind of talks about how these explorers had to be sponsored by people with money. So in this case, royals, so kings and queens, if they wanted to travel because it was expensive. So I would say my main idea for the first paragraph is explorers had to be sponsored to go on their expensive trips right? Um, I think that would probably be a good main idea. So I would go onto my page if this were for paragraph one. Um, and I would type in that making sure that I'm using a complete sentence. Remember a complete sentence means capital letters, ending marks, and the sentence has to make sense. So that means I'm going to type out my answer and I'm going to reread my answer. I'm getting a lot of people that are turning things in that probably as they're typing it sounds good, but if they went back and reread their answer, they would realize, ooh, that doesn't make sense. I need to, re to reword it. So make sure that you're doing that. Then I need a detail that um, supports my main idea. And details are just like text evidence. They're so much easier than we think they are. Because really, that's all it is. It's a piece of text that supports uh, my main idea. And it's example of what I'm talking about. So um, knowing that my main idea was that the explorers had to be sponsored by royals because the trips were expensive, I might use the detail that ships, crews, and supplies were not cheap. So that would support my fact that they had to be sponsored by somebody else because it was expensive. Or I could use the detail explorers couldn't pay for their own trips because it was expensive. Or I could even use the detail of... Um, Sponsors wanted things from their explorers because they were paying for their trips because their trip for, trips were expensive. So you're going to find lots of details that support your main idea. Or you should find lots of details that support your main idea. If you can't find a detail that supports your main idea, then that probably means your main idea is incorrect. But in this case, we found several details. I would just choose one. Say, I'm going to choose ships, crews, and supplies were not cheap. I'd go back into my page and I would tell, um, I would write my detail out. Again, using a complete sentence, capital letter, ending mark, and it makes sense. That's what you are going to do for the paragraphs that are listed on your page. Again, that's paragraph two. And you don't even have to go back in the store if you don't want. I've actually copied the paragraph here, paragraph four and paragraph six. If you end up running out of room on the front, if your handwriting is bigger than the space allows, you can always write your answers on the back. Um, actually, there is no back because this is two-sided. Uh, but you can always write your answers on another piece of paper. Or if you're writing online, obviously, you can just add more space um, or just add another page. If you have any questions, send me a Canvas message. Come up and ask me in class. Other than that, do it to it.